Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we do what? We do two or three small small examples. Okay, in the previous video I did not do it because then it would have got longer and then I don't like it. All right, yes. So these are what now I've written down the formulas. So we'll just check from here and we'll we'll see. Okay. So let's say what I give it the number as well. So number first is what number first is for the demand factor maximum demand on the connected load. The second is the load factor average load to the maximum demand. The third is the diversity factor summation of the maximum demands of individual consumers to the maximum demand of the system. The fourth is what the class contribution factor demand of a consumer class at the system peak divided by the system peak. The fifth is what it's the loss factor the power loss at the average load divided by the power loss at the maximum load. The sixth is what is the plant capacity factor. The energy units committed actually generated to the maximum energy unit that it could have generated over a span of time. The seventh is the plant use factor is the energy units generated and then divide by the time is what the time is that time for which the plant is actually running which the operate the, the shutdown time the maintenance time all, all, all are first removed right. In the plant capacity factor, all those times are also included. And I've already explained it. Let's say, for instance, this is about a year, the yearly capacity factor. So you will include all the hours in the year 8760. Whereas for the use factor, you will do what? If it is shut down for 30 days in the year for maintenance or any other works, so you will have to exclude those hours in the 30 days, which would remain 8040 hours. I solved the previous video example. Right? Yes. And the next the eight is the plant utilization factor, which is the ratio of the maximum demand to the uh, installed capacity. It's also the capacity factor to the use factor and also the time of commitment to the total time so let's say let's say we have some simpler small examples example 3.4 from the book example 3.4 from the book what does it state a generating station has a maximum demand of 25 megawatts so maximum demand is 25 megawatts which is 25 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatts load factor is 60 percent fld is 60 percent which makes it 0 0.6 uh, a plant capacity factor of 50 percent so fc is 50 percent which makes it 0 0.5 and a plant use factor of 72 percent 72 percent is 0 0.72 and then what find find what this was the given data find the reserve capacity of the plant reserve capacity of the plant the uh, where is it the daily energy produced energy produced daily and maximum energy that could be produced daily the maximum energy produced daily that could have been produced if the plant was running as per uh, schedule was fully loaded. So these are the three unknowns, right? Yes. Then what do you have is so let's say we start so first of all first of all uh, we could have from the definition of the load factor for instance would be the average load to the maximum demand so the maximum demand is given from there we can find out the average demand yes yes so we can find out the average load first average load would be from what formula from the second formula from the second formula average load p would be equal to what would be equal to fld multiplied pm fld multiplied pm and this would be equal to 0.6 multiplied by 25 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatts and this comes out to be what 15 megawatts for instance 15 megawatts 
right yes 15 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatts or 15 megawatts so you can write this in the megawatts range secondly now the formula of the capacity factor fc we can use so 6 implies what that we can find the energy use so we can find out energy from here so e would be equal to e would be equal to what from formula 6 it would be fc multiplied by the plant capacity multiplied by time do we have the plant capacity i don't think we have so the plant capacity factor we can use the formula the average demand by the plant capacity this is e divided by t is what this is p so p divided by pc we can use so we can use p divided by pc so i will just forget about this one and what would i have fc is p divided by pc so i would have p uh, what do i need basically i have p i have fc so i can calculate pc PC the plant capacity would be P divided by FC so this would be equal to uh, uh, where is P 15 into 10 to the power 6 in watts and divided by FC is what 0 0.5 so the, the PC the plant capacity would come out to be 30 megawatts 15 divided by 0.5 is 30 and then you have megawatts so this is for PC right yes now the reserve uh, wait yes so the reserve would be what the reserve capacity you can find from here is that would be the installed capacity minus the maximum demand installed capacity must meet the maximum demand and it should also have reserve as installed capacity is used to meet the maximum demand plus it should have the reserve so over here the installed capacity is 30 minus the maximum demand is 25 so you have a 5 megawatts of reserve capacity is that fine it is the daily energy produced e would be what e would be power into time power is what average load so the average load for the day is 15 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatts multiplied by 24 hours and this would be 360 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hours now the book has written this in megawatt hours try to write it in kilowatt hours right so this is the energy daily now the maximum energy produced you can find it from the from the what from the plant use factor the use factor is use factor has the definition what from from number seven that this is the actual energy produced to the maximum energy produced f u gives you what the actual energy produced to the maximum energy that could have been produced which means that the maximum energy that could have been produced would be 360 into 10 to the power 3 divided by the use factor which is 0 0.72 and this comes out to be 500 into 10 to the power 3 units or kilowatt hours and this is per day we are talking about right yes yeah, so we found uh, this one also have a look we are using the given definition we use the definition of load factor we use the definition of the capacity factor and we use the definition of the uh, use factor yes yes this was example number which one example with 3.4 next is let's say 3.6 example 3.6 what does this state? A power station has a maximum demand of 15,000 kilowatts. So maximum demand is 15,000 kilowatts. The annual load factor is 50%. Annual load factor is 50%, which is 0 0.5. And the plant capacity factor is 40% which would be 0 0.4 determine the reserve capacity of the plant reserve capacity is unknown so they have also mentioned this that these are the annual quantities so the time in hours would be for the year 
so for the reserve we need what the, we basically the installed capacity is the maximum plus the maximum demand plus the reserve capacity so you have the maximum demand you need to find the installed capacity and the installed capacity can be found out from the capacity factor right yes and how do we find it out so for that uh, you need what uh, fc is equal to so you need to have fc you have fc uh, where is it yes you have fc but then you need e e is also unknown so e we can find from where from the definition of load factor so e would be what e first of all would be fld into maximum demand into time put down the values FLD is 0 0.5, maximum demand is 15,000 into the time would be 8760. The energy units per annum would come out to be 65.7 into 10 to the power 6 kilowatt hours so you have got your energy units now you can calculate your uh, uh, installed capacity PC so installed capacity PC would be what from the formula it would be E upon FU into T E upon FC into T E upon FC into T so E is 65.7 into 10 to the power 6 divided by FC is given 0.4 into T would be 8760 so PC comes out to be what uh, 18750 kilowatts 18,750 kilowatts now they, now you can find out the reserve so the reserve would be what reserve would be the installed capacity that is this thing 18,750 minus the maximum demand which is 15,000 so this comes out to be something like 3,750 3,750 kilowatts you have the reserve capacity one more example one more example I have over here let's say that is example number 3.16 example number 3.16 what does it state the annual load duration curve of a certain power station can be considered a straight line from 20 megawatts to 4 to 4 megawatts so the annual load curve is given like this this is in the time if this is 8760 hours so you have a 4 megawatts and this is a 20 megawatts you have a straight line in between the two let's say this is 4 megawatts it doesn't matter right so this is the power in megawatts range this is the time in hours range right so this is given right this is the annual load curve to meet the load, three turbine generating units, two rated at 10 megawatts and one rated at 5 megawatts are installed. So generating units are what? So you've got three generating units for this, for this load curve, 10 megawatt, 10 megawatt and 5 megawatt, right? Yes. Determine the installed capacity. So the installed capacity is unknown PC. What else? Number two, plant factor, that is the plant capacity factor. Number three, the units generated per annum. Number four, the load factor and then the utilization factor. Load factor and then the utilization factor so these three these five things are unknown so the installed capacity would be what the installed capacity is the sum of the three because you've got the three units so the installed capacity would 10 20 and 25 megawatts is your installed capacity why because these are the generating units that you have yes yes then the average demand the average demand would be what so the average demand is uh, the area under the curve or what this is the average demand you could say the average load average that is p that would be 1 over 2 into 8760 into what 4 and 20 is 16 so that is what 
No, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Average demand is not this thing. Average demand is half of these two. That is the average. This I, this I talked for the energy unit. So the average demand P, the average demand P would be half of this two, four plus 20. So 24 divided by two would be 12 megawatts. So 12 megawatts is your average demand. Right, so you've got your installed capacity first, then you do what the plant factor, the capacity factor FC is P divided by PC. You've got it right, so FC would be P, P is this one 12 into 10 to the power 3, PC would be what 25 into 10 to the power 3. This comes out to be where is it 12 divided by 25 is 0.48 or writing in terms of percentage of so 48%. The energy units calculated, you can again use this formula. You can again use this formula. E would be equal to FC. FC is given is 0.48. You found it out. Multiplied by PC. PC is 25 into 10 to the power 3 and time. So this is for the year. So 8 seven six zero the energy units come out to be energy unit come out to be what one zero five into ten to the power six kilowatt hours one zero five into ten to the power six kilowatt hours yes so the book has uh, done what they have taken uh, by the graphical approach the area of this triangle is what this is the area of this triangle is the energy units right so half of uh, this is four so half of this side multiply this side the right angle triangle you know they just take out the uh, i have done this to the mathematical formula please check out is this right or wrong okay is this right or wrong so please check this would be right anyways so the energy units are done now the load factor you can calculate load factor is where where over there so the load factor fld would be the energy units that is 105 into 10 to the power 6 divided by the maximum demand do i have the maximum demand so load factor i can have from where 20,000 is the maximum demand. Yes, to this, this is the maximum demand. PM you can have from here is 20 megawatts. PM is 20 megawatts. So have a look. FLD is E divided by PM is 20 into 10 to the power 3 into 8760 or directly P divided by PM. You have both. What is this? This comes out to be 60%. You have both, right? Yes, you're done with this. Then you have the utilization factor F. Utilization factor is PM by PC. You can do it by any value. PM, you have PM is 20 megawatt divided by PC is 25. And also from this formula FC by FU, you have FC is 48 and FU is what? Do you have FU? You don't have FU, so, so you cannot use this formula because you don't have FU. So 20 by 25, this comes out to be 0.8. 0.8 which is 80 percent and i believe i should finish this video over here i am very much tired very much tired all right yes see you in the next video very soon inshallah i don't know whatever the topic is till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye